Hey guys, what's up? It's Ash. Welcome or welcome back to my channel here at Blooming Raw. Happy Sunday. I hope you're doing well. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a super quick and easy raw vegan faux inspired recipe. This recipe is fully raw, so simple and easy to make, literally 10 to 15 minutes max to prep. It's so delicious. It's so rich. It's so flavorful, super spicy. Of course, it's gotta be spicy, you guys. It's not naturally soup if it's not spicy. <laughs> so many of you guys have requested to see a raw vegan soup recipe video on this channel. I actually posted this exact soup on my Instagram story and so many of you guys were like, where's the recipe? So yeah, here we go. Today's the day. I'm actually planning to post a few more soup recipe videos very, very, very soon. And I even actually might incorporate them in a future um, raw vegan what I eat in a day winter edition type of video. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd be into that. But yeah, guys, this soup recipe that I'm about to show you, literally, whew, it's so good. My top three. It is amazing, like not even exaggerating, it is so good. It has just like so many warming spices in it that just make your body feel so good and toasty and cozy and stuff for the winter time. Oh, it's incredible. Tag me on your photos on Instagram at Blooming Raw if you decide to recreate the recipe. I would love to see your photos. But yeah, guys, let's jump into this recipe. I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, guys, so the first thing that I like to do is prepare the noodles first. So I'm using kelp noodles here. Um, I'll put the exact ones that I'm using in the description box below for you guys. But the first thing I like to do is break the noodles apart because um, they're typically like super hard to the touch when you get them. So we obviously don't want to eat hard noodles, right? So to clean them up and soften them up, I squeeze the juice of one lemon on top, as well as I sprinkled on a bit of pink Himalayan salt. You can use baking soda as a substitute for the salt if you have that. Um, then I took some warm water and soaked the noodles completely until they were softened. Um, these noodles in particular, they actually soften pretty quickly, so I think I let them stand for about 10 to 15 minutes just to get my desired texture and consistency. Then I used my kettle to heat up some water because this soup is water-based. So yeah, you guys, I love this kettle. I use this religiously in the winter time. I use it to make my teas, my hot chocolate, my soups, literally so many things. I heated up the water to my desired temperature, usually between 113 to 118 degrees. And then while that's kind of heating up, I started to prepare my other ingredients. So I chopped up some green onions, a lot of it. <laughs> you guys don't need to add as much as I did here. You can obviously modify the recipe and make it your own, but yeah, I'm obsessed with green onions, so I chopped up a pretty decent amount. I also chopped up about half of a jalapeno, chopped up some onion here. Um, it's best to use a yellow or um, even white onion if you have it. Um, red onion is probably the least preferred for this particular recipe, but I, again, chopped these up very finely and then also added in some ginger root. You guys, ginger is absolutely amazing. It has such a natural warming effect on your body and it's literally the perfect addition to any dish in the colder months so i would highly recommend just add more spices in your dishes right add more spices to keep yourself warm in the winter then i decided to add in some mushroom to give the soup just kind of a bit more texture so i washed and chopped up these baby bellas um, the bellas are my personal favorite but you can obviously add whatever mushroom variety you prefer um, if you don't like bellas shiitake or white mushrooms are some other good alternatives you can use then once all of my ingredients were all prepped for the soup i poured my warm water into a separate bowl to make the broth. I started off by adding in some namashoyu and then some fresh cinnamon, some Chinese five spices, which is essentially like just an array of different spices used in a lot of different Chinese cuisines. So good. And then lastly, I added in my ginger. I then mixed up the broth to evenly blend in all those delicious flavors. And then once the noodles were all done, I went over to the sink, grabbed my strainer and drained out all the water, you guys. The noodles came out so perfectly. Oh my gosh, they were amazing. They were so soft to the touch. And then once that was all done, I added my noodles into the bowl with the broth and then just gave that a little stir. I then added in my other ingredients, starting with the diced onion, followed by my green onion. And then I put in my jalapeno slices as well. 
as well as my baby bell mushrooms. And then lastly, I decided to add in some mung bean sprouts just to kind of give the faux even more texture and a bit more crunch. And it was so good. It was it was such a wonderful addition. Um, and then I gave it another stir. I also added in some bok choy leaves on the side. You guys, bok choy is so good for you. It's just rich in so many different vitamins and minerals. I'd highly suggest including more bok choy in your in your diet. It's awesome. I also added in some Thai basil and of course some raw fermented hot sauce from Four Devil Pepper Company. It just adds such a nice touch. I also decided to add in some delicious raw nori, which made the pho even more incredible. You guys, this pho was incredible. Like it definitely passed the taste test with flying colors. I could not stop eating it. I was literally obsessed. Guys, when I start dancing, that's when you know it's good. Like, I can't dance. I wouldn't embarrass myself. So, yeah, when I start dancing, it's pretty good. Anyways, guys, that's it. Doesn't this look absolutely incredible? It is so freaking tasty, so savory, so flavorful. And the best part, it actually fills you up. So I'd highly recommend giving this a try. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this soup. And also let me know what you'd change or add to this recipe if you were to recreate it. Um, again, please tag me on your photos on Instagram if you do decide to. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment down below. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all at Moving Raw. Love you all, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.